Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll see how to add circle markers with different colors. Here we have three different colors, yellow, which is representing the earthquake locations with magnitude greater than or equal to four and less than five. And we've got the red ones with earthquake magnitude greater than or equal to five and less than six. And the one in black rep representing the earthquake magnitude greater than or equal to six and less than seven. Let's go to our studio and see how to get this on the map. We'll start with loading the leaflet package. Then we are setting the seed 122. This is just so that you get the same result when you run the code in, in our studio. Next, what we are doing is again, we are, we are having the quakes data set and instead of uh, using the com complete data set with 1000 observations, we are going to sample with 50 observation and assign it to quakes one object. So if I run this, sorry, if I run this and do structure on quakes one, we can see that there are 50 observations with five variables, latitude, longitude, depth, magnitude, and stations. Now let's do one more thing. Let's do the summary of Quakes 1 data set. And we can see that the minimum magnitude is four and the maximum earthquake magnitude is six. The reason I'm showing this is because what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another variable here called magnitude range or mag range, which will have a factor variable, which will show whether the earthquake magnitude was light, moderate or strong. So if the magnitude ranges uh, or if the magnitude is greater than or equal to four and less than five, I will classify that as light. If the earthquake magnet magnitude is greater than or equal to five, but less than six, uh, I will classify that as moderate earthquake. And if the magnitude is greater than or equal to six and less than seven will classify that as a strong earthquake. So what we will do is we'll use the cut function and we'll pass on the quakes one dollar mag, which is the magnitude column. We'll define the breaks here. We want to divide them between four to five, five to six, six to seven. And we say right equals false means we don't we don't want to include the right hand side uh, range and we define the labels as light moderate and strong as follows. So if I run this and once again if I do my structure structure on quakes one now we can see that we have got a factor variable here called mag range. So corresponding to the magnitude of the earthquake, say this is 4.2, it will classify this as light and so on. Next, we will define a palette. We'll say pal, which is my palette object. This is to define the color. So what we did here is we defined a factor variable, which is showing the intensity of the earthquake in terms of light, moderate and strong. And corresponding to this classification, I'm going to define the color. So 
if the earthquake is light i want the color to be yellow if it is moderate i want the color to be red and if it is strong i want the color to be black and that's how i'm defining my palette so i say pal object equals color factor palette equals define the colors and pass on corresponding to which variable uh, or which column this color belongs to so it belongs to or it uh, it is associated with the mag range column values okay now we are done with defining the palette what we need to do is we need to now create the map so we def we initialize the leaflet object pass on the quakes one data the sample data we then add the third party tile in there so let me run till here and so we'll see the third party tile here now it's time to add the circle markers we'll add the circle mark markers using add circle markers function we'll pass on the latitude longitude we'll say color equals how do you want to color them so color equals till the sign pal this is the palette object we created and corresponding to which variable the colors corresponds to the mag range factor column or factor variable then we define the label we say label equals paste we are constructing the text or the information we are going to display there we say paste magnitude equals quakes one dollar mag and type equals quakes one dollar mag range so what it is saying is magnitude it is showing it is going to show magnitude and the type whether it is light moderate or strong let's run this and so now we can see the map and if I zoom in you can see different colors and also along with the label.